is perfect. I'm gonna talk about how to get your boyfriend back. It's pretty kiss. You're watching the offer, the best show on Zoom. Hello everybody, welcome back to the oven. You're with me, your boy Felix Fabulous. And welcome to the first episode of season two. I officially welcome you to the show as we've taken a long break. Got three weeks, Gabino Gabino Gumango Kalam Mango Sayra Bagampas and Gabudi Gunyumba win. This my demo issue. I hope Yaro is excited. Finally, it's Monday and we're starting our classes. So you guys are going to enjoy this episode. We have a lot of stuff packed up for you. We have an interview with Fredo Kiss. Chana, Fredo. We have been in this episode. I hope you guys are going to watch it. Mike Mash was talking to him and you guys should watch and listen. We also have the girl talk. We have an Arab session with rap show and what what to show no ngwaba nzuni bompano. Fano what to make my buzz and tizungu ndigitewa. Mudzwa gali. And we also have the street vibe with Sami. We've been going around asking people a few questions and you know how we do it. So we have a great cooked show for you guys as we always do it. The oven is baking, baking, baking. Come to that part. The oven is still growing. Good news. New folks in the oven and these guys will be introduced to you in the next episode. Just wait for a couple of team members that just came into the oven to bake with us. To give you art as you've seen it from way back. Now, before I say too much, <laughs> I don't want to stop being fabulous. Let us go to the Celeb Connect and see what Fredo Kiss has for us. Welcome back to the Oven and you're with me, Mike Mash on Celeb Connect. As always, we're bringing your favorite celebrity, Dark for Summer Fonso, and today we're with the main man, friend of Keats, China, guys. So stay tuned, keep it live, keep wave of creativity. So welcome to the show, man. Thank you so much. Just, just. Uh, because there's somebody who is who is doing China, and then you just briefly introduce yourself. Okay, so I'm Fredo Penja and Kalo. Yeah. Yes, I'm an, I'm an artist, I'm a humanitarian. I'm uh, a brother, my sister, my mother, my father. <laughs> right. yeah. um, we have seen you doing a lot of things. I mean, eh, past years, yeah. my progress, and now we're talking about League for Change. Yeah. Can you just like talk more about it? My guys are kind of with what, what is the concept behind League for Change? Okay. Uh, uh, the concept behind League for Change is this is a platform, it's a movement uh, for young people with class, young people with. Uh, uh, you know that energy in them, that fire in them to say, you know what, I want to be the change that I want to see. Yeah. Not tomorrow, but today. Yeah. Uh, you know, society has got this uh, this implicit message that it sends to young people that you know what, you're very important, mm. very very important, but not today, yeah. but tomorrow, mm. in the near future. Yeah. And leaders of tomorrow, leaders they of say. Tomorrow. <laughs> and, it, and that message has been strong over the past generations. It has, it's embedded on our, our brains embedded on our souls to the point that we know I've got the energy to do something, I've got the, the, the ideas, the talents to do something for humanity, for humankind, but not, not, not just today, mm. but in the near future. Mm. Yeah, so look for changes where people are saying, no, I'll not wait for the near future. Right. I want to be the change that I want to see. So like you're gathering different young people, exactly. bringing them together. And yes. Is it more like a group, a foundation? Yes, or yes, 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 yes. It's something new. It's a movement. A movement. We, we, we don't want it to be an NGO. Yeah. We don't want it to be a political party. Okay. We, 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 and we're not ashamed to have something new. Yeah. Something that doesn't have a name per se. Mm. We can call it what we want, depending on the day and the context. Yeah. yeah. So is it like you as Fred, or you are the one sponsoring the whole thing, or we have people, other people working from behind? No, every member is sponsored. Every member. Yes, like for Zeus. Yeah. You know, every everyone, that, you know, they're sponsoring, they're donating in, in kind, in yeah. cash. Yeah. yeah. So I, I just founded the movement. Yeah. I'm, I'm the founder. I'm leading it, but. 
I'm not the only one leading it. Yeah. You've got, you, it, 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 it's a platform for leaders. Yeah. Everybody's leading in their own way. Right. Yes. So I saw on your Facebook page you were visiting some hospitals, yeah. some schools. Yeah. So can you like, just share with us some of the stories you've come across and then that has at least inspired you to go ahead with the whole League, League for Change thing? Uh, there's so many inspiring stories. Yeah. Uh, like, for, for example, in Zuzu, I just share some of the stories yeah, that I came across in Zuzu. You know, at the nursery home, we're doing a big walk uh, for, for, for the nursery home to raise funds. At the nursery home, they're beautiful kids with unique stories, touching stories, emotional stories. You see those kids, it's, it's, it's pathetic. So, what made me angry? I'm upset now. I'm upset because as we were interacting with the lady from, from, from at the nursery home, I wanted to find out where they get their, their support. Mm. So she, she, she says they get their support from 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 the US. Mm. So what happens is someone goes in, in a Presbyterian church mm. and they do a slight presentation of babies in Malawi. They do a slight presentation of you know the situation, mm. and then congregants say. They, they make offerings yeah. to support the nursery home. Yeah. So I was upset because look look, look around you every corner we've got a church. Yeah. And this lady said, you know, that they tried to approach local churches but they were not responsive. So for me, I felt bad that, you know, these babies are being taken care of mm. by Americans. Yeah. Americans have got their own problems. Yes. They've got homeless kids too. True. They've got orphans too. Yeah. And yet they can show that they're better at the same time they also you get it yeah so the league for change we want to change that mindset you know we we we, we need local solutions for local problems yeah. i think i should do something about it you should do something about it yeah. he should do something about it she should do something about it so our generation needs to make these changes you know the presbyterian church that they raised funds from i don't think they they they, 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 they they're using a special Bible. Yeah. Or there's a true. special the hallelujah that they do. There's a special name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Different. There's an American name of Jesus and then there's a Malawian. No, it's the same thing. So I think we need to start believing in ourselves and being control. Yeah, true. Um, so the Live for Change, is it part of Frederick's foundation? Because I saw you also. Yeah. Live for Change is bigger than the Frederick's foundation. Okay. Can you like just explain yes. more about Live for Frederick? Change. Yeah. Live for Change can partner with any private uh, institution. You yeah. can partner with the Frederick's Foundation. You can partner with any foundations, uh, any foundation that is out there. Yeah. It can partner with the government. It can partner with the church. It can partner with uh, humanitarians. It can partner with change agents. So it's bigger than the Frederick's Foundation. Right. Yeah. Great. If the Frederick's Foundation was something bigger than the League for Change, there's no need to have the League for Change. Yeah. But you can't join the Frederick's Foundation whilst you can join the League for Change. Right. So you as Frederick, are you doing this because you're a politician or related to politics? No, I'm Maybe not your politician. father? No, I'm yeah. not a politician. Okay. I'm a humanitarian. Right. Uh, I, I participated in the elections yeah. because, you know, we should practice what we preach. Yeah, true. You know, they're always telling us, you know what, Young people should should, should should take part in you know in in, in, in decision making mm. uh, activities. Mm. So my participating in the elections yeah. was walking the talk yeah. because I believe young people will need a seat. Yeah, we at can the do table. it. Yeah. So I contested. I didn't make it. Yeah. The best candidates in my constituency won. So. Next time I'll get it. Yeah, you will. Yeah, I'll get it next time. And you're doing great things. Yeah, so I'm a humanitarian. Not, a, not only a politician. I'm not a politician. Okay. I'm a humanitarian. There's a difference. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm a humanitarian. I'm not a politician. Now, one of one of our specific objectives was League for Change. We want to demystify the belief that you know the, uh, the decision making space, yeah. which is political now. Is for rough people, ruffians, you know, vagabonds, you know, you know, crooks. Mm. No, I want someone like you. Okay, it's in our best interest to have uh, change agents and humanitarians at the, at the council. That's true. It's in our best interest to have humanitarians and change agents in parliament than politicians. It's in our best interest to have even a humanitarian or change agent in the state house. Yeah. So, my father, my father will always be my father. Even if I, even if God gave me a chance to say, you know what, we, we, we want to take you back to earth now, choose a father. And there was Obama there, there was, there was Abraham Lincoln, there was 
Bill Gates and those Kamrepo Kalu at the corner. I still choose him as my father. Yeah. You get it? Yeah, I get it. So I'm not apologetic to have a father who 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 is a politician. He's he's made his contribution to the country. Yeah. He's my hero. Yeah. You get it? Yeah. So it's it is what it is. <laughs> yes. So once again, Fred Kiss in China. So Fred, enough with uh, Link for Change, Fred Kiss Foundation. Mm. Let's just talk a, f- a little, a little bit about your music. What's coming up? Because I know you have fans in this university and followers of the yeah. Open Show. Yes, yeah. I think uh, uh, there's, 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 there's music coming up, yeah. but uh, I create music different. Uh, I, 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 do, I, I just don't create for the sake of creating. Yeah. Uh, Some people do it for fun. <laughs> exactly, like, but for me, usually all, all, all the songs that I've, 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 I've recorded, usually I record them in, in a period of a week. Yeah. In a period of maybe a month, I've recorded 20 songs mm. and then I've still done recording. So that's how I operate. Uh, I'm different from how others operate. Others are recording on a daily basis, yeah. others are put for so For me, I go with the flow and I think the context pushes me. In terms of what what, what to put out and what not to put out, yeah. yeah. Right. So I can tell you, uh, I've got no plans of releasing any music now. No. But you'd be surprised. Maybe in two days, three days time, something came up. I got inspired yeah. and then I released something. Right. But so my music is for free. I don't sell music. You don't sell music. Yes. So you should just anticipate. Yes. You should just be waiting. Yeah. Um, um, so just any last words to your fans, your followers, yeah. any other business? I think. Uh, my last words is, in terms of League for Change, this is our platform, it's here to stay. Uh, League for Change is, 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 is there for you, it's yours, let's own it. Uh, League for Change, we, we, we have to do those small actions of love, those small steps that can take us a step further. I think uh, we, we, we are past that level where you know, to just be about me solving my problems True. but also taking care of the next human thing okay. yeah so look for change is about that okay. yeah so for all my fans i think get to know get to understand look for change and be part of the change be the change you want to see today okay. I, might, I might not know the change that you want to see in your area in your community in your household at an individual level okay. but you know so be that change great okay. yeah. so once again you're with me mike mansion so let connect and Fred on the Terminator Shanae Magai Mamba. Follow him on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, the, the handles are down there. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Peace. Don't let your girlfriend listen to this to get addicted. Come on, I'm showing a da. My mother's stuck in this sombo. My people are getting divided. My food are going to go to the bottom. Soon as how about we drop out a uni? Yeah. Think I'm gonna drop out a uni? Yeah. Ain't you gonna drop out a uni? Yeah. Cause we are gonna drop out a uni. Yeah. My money's stuck in this zombo. My people are getting divided. What food I gonna go for? Don't need to go for a motto. Yeah. How about we drop out a uni? Yeah. Think I'm gonna drop out a uni? Yeah. Ain't you gonna drop out a uni? Yeah. Cause we are gonna drop out a uni. The Komodo Nazo, the Zimbi, the Nazo, the Ninja, the Heaven, the Funa, go fuck. We got a plan for four years, man. We should be reaching a tiger position. Any right that we demonstrated why the system wanna be attacking us. Nanga Kutani, the Zingo Digi, like when they come in a magazine, talk with Yen. But we wait, I'll be celebrating. I've been eating yours like the piece of cake. You can't guess me, are you really sure? Well, it's all whiskey like the prison break. I slide your girl, don't blame me. Blame it on the money, but me got a chance. The same demons that attack the nation is operating in the school, school. Gelly, I talk with tech. I do to slow and so cheat. In the eleven, the old way. To go bang on the name. So when you're my Amuna and Sanga, soon we all are turning to Panga Jiva. In the Napuera Gale Gale, Modi go when I go get a tamari in the fire. My food is stuck in the tumble. My people are getting divided. My food I will not go for. Soon it's equal for a model. How about we drop out a uni? Think I'm gonna drop out a uni? Ain't you gonna drop out a uni? Cause we are gonna drop out a uni. My mood is stuck in the tumble. My people are getting divided. What food I will not go for. Soon it's equal for a model. How about we drop out a uni? Think I'm gonna drop out a uni? Ain't you gonna drop out a uni? Cause we are gonna drop out a uni.
name is Kim, aka Kim of Diamonds, and you are watching The Oven. Hey guys, this is B, and today I'm welcoming you to the Girl Talk section where I'm going to be talking about various topics concerning girls. Like, I basically just want to be helping out any girl out there, like in this community who's going through something. So, I'm here to solve your problems, or if you have any question that you may want to ask, be free. We're not going to disclose you. I'm just going to be here and basically talk about it. I'm going to talk about how to get your boyfriend back. Yes. I know okay first off I want to say that I just want to clarify that I am NOT a relationship expert but after doing a bit of research I have noticed that this actually works like so for any girl out there who wants help on how to get her man back <laughs> this is for you so the next thing that you have to do is to just accept the breakup he's the one who broke up with you so you just have to Take, take it with dignity, like handle it with maturity. It doesn't matter that you think you think and I want to and he's gonna feel sorry for you and take him back, it's actually gonna backfire because he's gonna look at you as this weak person. Like, yeah, I made the right decision by dumping this person because she's basically just weak. Like, I would have, like, it's not invested in your soul. You're there crying, he's gonna go like, oh, I didn't want to be anywhere close to this. So, he just, just act maturely and with dignity, just take it, like, have a little bit of pride. So, if you have, if you have already cried and done like everything I said not to do, like Zolila, Mamutani, if he tells you to give him space, give him space. Just leave him, because obviously when he was breaking up with you, he expected you to obviously be sad. But the fact that you're not sad, he just took it with maturity. He's actually gonna put some doubt in his mind, like Mutu, Damusia, why is she not sad? Why is she not crying? So he's gonna actually doubt, like, hmm. What is happening here? So just take it with pride and dignity and respect his decision. So the second tip is to just cut off all communication with him completely. I know you're wondering why should I cut off communication with him? He's gonna forget me. No, he's not gonna forget you. Just cut off all communications. Can delete his number, can block him on WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger, like everything. Just don't talk to him. Do not even try to call him or harass him with messages because that's gonna have the opposite desired effect. I will tower. So this is gonna be like, hey, right now I need my space and this girl I'm gonna be boa boa. It's just eventually stop us Cut off communication for at least two to three weeks. Because it's good it's even good for you to cut off all communication because it's gonna give you time to like call you cry, you take it, you accept it. But during this time, this is actually one of the most important things, cutting off all communication. If you cut off all communication, you're gonna give him time to actually miss you. The third step is just basically taking good care of yourself. You need to take good care of yourself. Like, don't be out here looking trashy like I'm going through something and you're going to go on the same zone because I've just gone up to a breakup. No, do not do that. Just take good care of yourself. Take a shower, you know, do your makeup, do your hair like any other regular day. Just try to make him look at you like, notice you like, wow, I have actually lost. And actually, beautiful so far. Like, give him reasons to why he actually fell in love with you. If it's like wearing something he got for you, like a, whether it's a shirt or pants, just give him a reason. I will try to make him remember why he fell in love with you in the first place. Always look good. Take good care of yourself. Okay, so the last part is like after you've done everything, like accepting it, not contacting him, like for two to three weeks, taking good care of yourself. So the last part is how do you actually? try to talk to him honestly i actually prefer that he should be the one talking to you first like he's the one who actually initiated the contact first don't just jump into hey yay yeah, finally we can go back to whatever we had no the do it say what i want like what's up what i want like because he's gonna go like okay like i'm actually fighting for this girl back you know but if you see what he's still not interested like and he just doesn't want you you die like Assess the relationship. Is it actually worth it to get back with him or not? If you see it's actually worth it to get back with him, then fine. Take it slow. Like, build a connection first. Like, try and build the relationship first before you actually jump into everything. Alright, this is it for today. But next time, I'm going to talk about various topics, such as how to take good care of yourself, and I'm going to go deeper into that. Next time, I'm also going to talk about how to be safe when you actually go out, like, clubbing, because guys, it's not like people go out.
So basically, this one is about the girls that should go out and on, like try to give them tips on how to be safe when they go out. So if you need more information or you need me to talk about more things concerning girls, you can get the oven line and you'll be interested. If you have any question about anybody in the oven too, you can hit the oven line and that's it. You have been with me, be in the oven. See you next time. Hello my guy, Fana Street Vibe, you know Belasso, and this is season 2. On today's Street Vibe, we're going to talk about speculations that are going on on campus. Zimunvega Zora would take a school. Then I'll be asking around, asking people, would he, what are the consequences? What, are, what would be the effect if they close up the school? They pay fees and school, right? And they had a plan to the field, the even how you would This basically drama have been used for other things. They won't have that money to pay for our school fees. They do also affect us. As I am also going to put this up, 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 put Tough time, I mean, school as a secret, if it is as a son of a garden. Nothing full of salad in Tawi, Tawang in a salad in Diesel and Dina. Tawina, you matter, put it in a casual in a plan of a denny vagina. Eh, man, we live with us over ten, the mouth don't do so. I am a mix at Tongo business or that one of whom was it is a gram and go in. I there's a car with the Muslim intellectual Mango or Mango. Then it's not Wake up, After four years, I would have graduation money. Hey, now and then my car is in Then the school can be crossed, will be affected in the in many ways. For example, we plant according to the academic calendar whereby it was supposed to we are supposed to finish by 31 uh, July. But if school will be closed, it means there will be extension of the days. Furthermore, we have already spent a lot of money currently, which has adversely affected us. If school will be closed, it means we are going to, once coming back, we have to open uh, the semester have to start all over again. Uh, thirdly, our parents they plant about our our academic current in accordance to our academic calendar. And if school is going to be affected, to be closed, I mean, then it means the parents, the parents they have, all of them will be affected. <laughs>
Okay, but you must say you can over and go there. I'm going to have transport. You get there, you turn. Many times we carry our mobile phone on our gas. We must have to go to the bank to get our money. We must have to go to the bank to get our money. We must have to go to the bank to get our money. We must have to go to the bank to get our money. We must have to go to the bank to get our money. We must have to go to the bank to get our money. We must have to go to the bank to get our money. We must have to go to the bank to get our money. We must have to go to the bank to get our money. We must have to go to the bank to get our money. We must have to go to the bank to get our money. We must have to go to the bank to get our money. We must have to go to Tizi banga be masuwa vya zaidi ba sabu na school ya tete ne ba nova rangu kala no digi dira. Ana tega school age tika ndi saka zambi diso pusi. For example, my course is four years. Ati banga sabu tika le five years. Imagine that's so long. Yeah, that's really long. How about you? How about the parent side? How will they be affected? Hmm. Okay, the parents said, okay, and I think like, it's in a school, it's wasted your money, first of all, resources, because we've been here for almost like a month, and parents have been spending a lot of money to make us survive, you know, in terms of food, and rent, and my car, and all, so that's really costly, in that in the Amazon, 